We have a John Elliott Stroud Zanaki LeBron Icon QS in triple black. John Elliott is sort of like a really big name in terms of New York or American uh, menswear, right? He doesn't. He's never really trans. He's not really been. Uh, he's not really been uh, taken on well here in the UK. But I think for the most part, a lot of those brands, especially the brands that some of the football footballers wear, and some of the people from. Love Island and stuff. I'd imagine this is the kind of stuff they'd wear, and it look, and a lot of them, when they make their own clothing, it tends to end up looking like John Elliott, right? Um, loads of really well-made uh, hoodies and tonal colors, and maybe some jeans with rips in them, and maybe awesome loads of all white or pearl sort of stuff. Um, yeah, you know the kind of John Elliott sort of aesthetic. Um, and again, I think him and LeBron are really good friends. LeBron James is always at his shows when he's showing uh, during Fashion Week and shit. So I think this is probably no no mystery that this collaboration will come around. Probably doesn't make that much sense. John Elliott being a fashion brand, LeBron James being a basketball player. But you know, if you've if you're paying attention to basketball, you'd know that you know LeBron James seems to be making positional moves away from basketball. You know, the LA Lakers move seems to be a a big ploy for him to kind of stamp his mark on the entertainment industry so maybe this is kind of tied into it again um i'm not really a fan of wearing lebron shoes or anything to do with basketball outside of jordan retro so probably not the shoe for me but as a look they don't look too bad i guess if you're that way inclined you could probably style them and make them look really really good um it looks like the is the front of it see-through because uh, yeah the socks the socks they're wearing on this picture they sort of peek through the front um does that get my interest already maybe have i now spoken too soon and now i kind of want them maybe yes um <laughs> they look really nice here actually to be honest um they come with a, a part of the collection is a pair of these tie-dye socks which might harken back to um inspiration from lebron james recently he's been wearing a lot of, yeah maybe they're part of it he's been wearing a lot of you know colorful trainers and socks lately when he's been going to games and stuff he's been getting these like kind of um uh, eccentric um outfit bag lately Kurt, um lebron james although i did really like that outfit he wore when he wore that tom brown suit i thought it looked amazing probably looked the best i've seen tom brown wear seeing an actually built athletic guy squeeze into some tom brown made that fucking suit look better than what it's actually ever looked on the runway um which i'm sure is the reason why we've probably seen a lot more black models used in tom brown um collections so far but yeah um i quite like the shoe actually i'm not mad at it i gotta be honest i'll probably take back what i said in the beginning generally lebron james icon qs way too many numbers or letters in the lane but hey uh they're gonna come out at the john anywhere flagship store on may 22nd 23rd 24th and the limited drops accompanied by a set of tie-dye socks an online drop would then hit a john Lee store at 25th okay cool so that's a that's a good little drop in it so i think there'll be quite a lot available then right they're gonna come out four days in a row or for that four days in a row three days in store and then online they look pretty cool i quite like them especially if you can if your socks are going to peek through the front isn't it that's what, that's what we all want, isn't it? We want our socks to get shown. If it's got, you know, bubble around the complete outside of it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them. I quite like them. I quite like them. Not going to, 